it's these places I really like. A nice like 60 degree day with the homies, just randomly on an adventure to find airplanes in the woods. Like that's true exploring. It's almost like a Stand By Me the movie, except we're not looking for dead bodies. You know what I mean? Felt like that though. It used to be the home of the Nashville Sounds, but now Greer Stadium is a place with an uncertain future, but plenty of options. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson. Explorers, I'm super excited because this is my first ever baseball stadium that I'm exploring. That's abandoned, of course. Um, I've been to, you know, I've seen a tennis court see that are abandoned. I've seen like football stadiums that are abandoned, but I've never came to an abandoned baseball field. This is a minor leagues baseball field that opened up in 1978 and closed in 2014 in August. Um, things about this place, uh, it's in Nashville, Tennessee. This place is set to demolish sometime next year. The mayor's firm on it, they want this place gone. So it's a good thing we came at the right time because this place could be gone anytime, anytime right now. Um, what's cool about this place also is that it fits over 10,000 people for seating and another 5,000 standing. So a total of 15,000 people could be here watching the game. Now, some of the seats are missing, but there's still some seats. You're gonna see like the Nashville, like Qatar, that's like pretty iconic, that stands out. We got drone shots, we got everything. Guys, let's explore this baseball stadium. Absolutely, imagine this, a new neighborhood in Nashville with athletic facilities, shops, places to live. Well, if one proposal is accepted by the city, it could happen. For two years, Greer Stadium has sat unused gathering graffiti, but a new proposal called Adventure Park could take the one-time destination and revitalize it and the surrounding area. We want people to have not only adventure at Fort Negley and Adventure Science Center, but also in the park we're going to have here. Check this out. See, and this is the famous, iconic Qatar scoreboard. It even, it even has the Coke Zero sign up there. That was some of their sponsors right before it closed. And Firestone. Dude, this is so cool. You can even see the outline of the baseball stadium still. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, explorers, imagine people that actually been here before. The people that came to all the games, uh, the parents who would take their kids here, and you guys would all come together, watching your family members play here, you know, whatever. The point is, is like, just imagine being here and then seeing it like this. You know, growing up and then actually seeing it turn to this. That's one of the reasons why we're documenting this, because when this gets demolished, we still have this video to, to show like the history of this place and, you know, just to reminisce and watch. You know, there's a lot of random things that, that fell or got thrown onto the seats. Years ago. So today, I am here to announce that uh, my administration in the coming days will seek approximately a million dollars from the Metro Council uh, for the demolition of Greer Stadium, which is now 40 years old, and the subsequent conversion of this land into a park. I remember coming here um, both as a child and with my child recently before the sounds moved downtown. Um, but now, uh, this is a place to inspire some new memories. Like a Manhattan ride. I felt the weight of the All right, explorers, you've seen this level. Let's go upstairs to the box seats, get a higher ground. Oh, a higher ground view of the place. Water dropped on me. Oh, oh it goes up even more. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's right here then. Oh, this is the parking lot of the place. Look at this. Can you imagine this packed? I can't, I've never seen it packed, but maybe I can find a picture online. The view's nice though. It's actually a very dark, cloudy day though. So this is pretty much, like I said, like the VIP section, the, the box section. You know what I mean? Like you could take all your coworkers, your family, all your friends, whatever. You know, you get your own private, uh, your, would have been a fridge. Uh, you can do your dishes, you know, you, you know what I mean? You could bring your own food here. You could do whatever you want, but you got your own section. You're partying up here with everyone, you know, playing music maybe, having just a great time. You get your own private room to watch the game. Dude. 
It's way better up here. Look at the bleachers down below. I think what happened was people threw like the items that was on here, these box seats, and just threw it down below there. Crazy. It's so crazy going to different spots all around that are abandoned. Abandoned schools, abandoned malls, abandoned hospitals, abandoned stadiums. You know, it's things like this that if humanity and, and humans, you know, like we all crash, we all die for whatever reason, this is how everything will look. Just like what we're looking at right here. And so I have like, I have like such a strong perspective and idea of how an apocalypse will look. Cause I've been there, I've seen it all. I mean, I've literally seen how everything will look. Schools, hospitals, like, I've seen it all. Like, this is how it's all gonna look. I'm like totally vibing out here. I can literally, I just feel like this is like home. Like I can just chill here all day. Yeah, I, I know part of it is obviously because it's so decayed, unsaturated, it just looks dead. I love that. But just the cloudy fogginess all around here, Silent Hill. I dig it. So a big challenge for me that's coming up, and this is where, you know, even me, I will have to rise above and, you know, get over this. And that's, um, I have this TV show, like I said, coming up. And what it is, is two weeks out of each month, I'm going to be filming every single day for the TV show. And then that will give me two weeks out of that month to then film for the YouTube channel. Obviously, I love YouTube and that's always number one. I'm never leaving, never quitting YouTube, but it's just gonna be super hard, I think. I don't know, I've never done it. This could be the most easiest thing ever and I'm gonna have the time of my life, but it's gonna be super hard, I think, to keep up with the TV show and also film for the YouTube channel. But it's gonna happen and it's gonna be super sick because obviously we're gonna keep doing The Abandoned, which I've stacked up tons of great videos, but like, it's gonna get really raw. Like this, the journey of filming that TV show and documenting it and, and, and filming my life, documenting that is all going to happen on this, uh, on this YouTube channel. So everyone who's been following me for so long and for the new people who are watching, subscribe because it's going to be a journey, man. I hope you guys are, are, are going to be interested in it. This is random, but this is dope. The Mountain Dew trash can over here. You can barely make that out, but that's cool. Stacked with Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is actually the only soda I would drink. I don't really drink soda at all though, but if I had to, that'd be the only one. Maybe Baja Blast from Taco Bell. <sighs> well, we have a little uh, theme going on in this one. Like a brick wall style. All right, it's time to head upstairs. I wanna go to the tippity top one. Man, these chairs are comfy, Rob. I'm watching the game right now. Watching the game? Yeah. Alright, I'll take a seat with you. Hey. Just chilling out right here. Taking in the game. The oh, abandonment. If only we had some beers. Yeah, we do need some beers. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm more entertained watching nothing than the <laughs> actual baseball game. He's not really a sports Yeah, I'm not really that big of a sports But no, dead ass. I, I would be more entertained just like, oh, this is great. This Either way, I can be entertained. I'm pretty entertained <laughs> right now, and I can be For all you baseball fans, I know you guys are going to appreciate this the most. Dude, this is now this is how people get hurt. How many times have I seen on the news people falling through elevator shafts? All the time. I mean, I ain't going on that, but people do it. People somehow fall. I'm like, how? Oh, this is sick. What up, Danny? How you doing, bro? Oh, Scotty B's here too. Wow, it's funny meeting you guys over here. Oh, I just found some uh, satanic ritual symbol over here. Let's go check it out. Demonic activity might be going on here, guys. All right, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh man, boys, just when you thought the floor below us was the best, this is crazy. Love it. Now, explorers. To be fair, there's obviously not too much to explore here. It is just 
the baseball field. That's it. There's not like anything else here except the seats. This is really great and really cool, but I'm not sure what else we can actually obviously film here. You know, this is it. This is what we got. It's cool. I love it. It's the place we had to do, but this video obvi obviously is shorter than usual. For the last nine days, like I said in the previous videos, we've been on a road trip going from uh, New York all the way down, coming back up, hitting up a bunch of different random states. We're pretty much on the last day. As of tomorrow, we're going to be in Ohio, Cincinnati with our homies, hitting up some cool spots, and then that's when we go home. We met with a lot of people around the way, hit up some Instagrammers, we hung out, met some new people, and that's what happens every trip we go on. And, it's, and it's, it doesn't get old. Alright, here we are, back here. Time to go walk it. That looks cool behind me. You know, I've never even played baseball and I've never even walked on like, I, I mean, all right, I walked on a baseball field, field, but not like an official minor league baseball field. This is my first time actually walking on one. This is awesome. It's kind of slippery right here. To think that every team would be chilling right here before they go off and just bat and get the dopest whole runs ever. Obviously I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about because I, I don't watch baseball. I never really been in the sports. Like I understand, obviously I understand football, everything like that. It's just I'm not really a, a fan of baseball. Um, sorry baseball people out there. But I do like to break dance and do a lot of other physical activities. Well, all right, explorers, that's about it. We walked the field. We explored everything we possibly could about this place. I mean, at least I think so. And it's about to head out of here. It's getting windy. I think it's gonna rain soon or snow. I don't know what's going on right now, but this has been perfect weather to shoot this place. The little rain, the little clouds that came, definitely uh, made this a lot more better. The atmosphere was more dark and everything, like I said. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. Rise above, just get out the explorer. Peace and thanks for watching.